She has her hand in on everything I do. She's Jai's grandmother. She never complains. She's always lovely. And probably the sole reason why I'm standing up here today. So my introduce you guys to my wife, Miss Veronica Lynn Sanders. Shall we pray? Yeah. Father God, we come to you again this morning. Say thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the last night laying down early morning rising. Yeah. Father God, we thank you, Father God, because we are here this morning. You met us this morning. Yeah. You met us this morning, Father God. Father God, I'm asking you right now, Father God, to just, just <clears throat> shake my words, Father God, so I can touch someone's heart. Father God, I can't do anything without you, and I won't try. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I became the qualified district language president back in November 2019. Due to my brother Louis Monroe job reassignment to move out of town. But God, I was appointed by moderator Lamb, which had more confidence in me becoming the Lamb president than I did. <laughs> then came the pandemic. pandemic. All you know, that was a game breaker. All the business we were doing or being conducted was different. We ended up having a couple of layman services here in Kansas City and also in the Pekin area. We made it up to a joint session, which was in March of 2020 at the Antioch Baptist Church before Dr. Before Dr. Lamb moderated suspended all operations throughout the Carl Valley District Association. But God. May 16, 2021 was our first in-person layman service at Forest Grove, which was followed by five more in-person services in the greater Kansas City area, which Greater Faith, Dr. Milan, Antioch Baptist Church, Reverend Sullivan, First Baptist, Fifth Nebraska, Reverend Roman, Eighth Street Baptist, Reverend Slack, and our final one of the year will be next weekend, the 21st, at four at uh, First Baptist of Point Durham, yeah. Reverend Glass. Yeah. Yeah. We also held two layman services in the Topeka area, New Mount Zion, Reverend White, and Second Baptist of Topeka, Reverend Nicholson. But God. Wow. Yeah. In addition to the layman service, Vice President Deacon Lawrence McConnell, Antioch Baptist Church and Deacon Harold Simmons and Sister Simmons reintroduced discipleship training, which was available virtually throughout the Carl Valley District throughout the summer. But God. Second Vice President, Deacon Mark Alexander, First Baptist Nebraska, taught classes titled 33 Series, Authentic Manhood. 40 days Jesus spent on this earth before he descended into the cloud. But God. Forest Work Director, Deacon Paul White, Stranger Reds Baptist Church, set up a rap sessions virtually with our junior layman titled, Let's All Talk and Take a Breath, But God. Junior layman president, Mr. Elijah Robinson, First Baptist of Quindaro, participated in the Walter K. workshop on the national level. It was virtually, and Elijah made First Baptist of Quindaro and the Carl Valley District. Very proud of them. Amen. In August 2021, I presented a meditation virtually at the National Layman's Convention Executive Board meeting, which was titled Make It Disciples Who Make Disciples, Luke 6 and 40, but God. Also, in September 2021, I was a devotional speaker at the West Region during the National Baptist Layman's 141st Annual Session Church Empowerment. That was also virtual, but God. The 
The theme of the Carl Valley's Association <coughs> envisioned the future exception, exceptionally through the evangelism focused on family. Jeremiah 29 and 11 reads, For I know the plan I have for you, declared the Lord. Right. Plan to prosper you, not to harm you. Right. Plan to give you hope and a future. Well, <clears throat> we're all encouraged by leaders to strive to do more ahead of us. Someone who believes we can do <clears throat> this task has given <clears throat> given us. Let me calm down. Someone who believes we can do these tasks as given, who will be done all the way. God is the kind of leader that he knows the future and his plan for us is good and fully the hope for someone would be that he had told. I would be standing in front of you over 20 years ago if I didn't believe that. <laughs> 